Hi, my name is Dennis Marcus. I'm the Executive Director of Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights here in the UK. 2020 has been a year of such suffering and pain for so many people, and it's really laid bare the injustices and the weaknesses of our society. But it's, I think it's also revealed to a lot of us a much deeper sense of what it means to be human, of how interconnected we are, and the truth that our decisions and our actions are what create our reality. And we really believe that here at Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights. Bobby Kennedy went to South Africa in 1966 and he said, every time a person stands up for an ideal or strikes out against injustice or acts to improve the lot of others, they send forth a tiny ripple of hope. And from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples come together to create a current that can overcome the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. And haven't we seen that embodied in the last few months as people across the country, across the world, have been acting in their communities at a national level to create positive social change. And we believe that, that is the power of human rights, the best expression, articulation that humanity has ever found for what people's basic interests are. And then they give us a blueprint, a framework about the impact that we can have in our world, not just at a governmental level, but at, from businesses, but also at a personal level in our communities and with our families. And yet we know that for a lot of people, human rights feels remote from their lives. And that's what we see as our challenge for Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights. How can we inspire and empower people to make decisions every day in every part of their lives to make human rights a reality? And that's what our programs strive to do. One of those is Speak Truth to Power, a transformative, creative, experiential human rights education program. Hi. My name is Sugra Ahmed and I am Director of Education for Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights UK. Speak Truth to Power is a human rights education programme firmly located in the lives and reality of students today. Above all, it speaks to the human skills that underpin human rights, which empower us to overcome our divisions and take actions that can make human rights a reality for all in society. Speak Truth to Power comes in four parts. The first part is Mindsets for Change, our learning outcome framework. Created with artists, child psychologists, educationalists and many more, this framework sets out the human skills and qualities today's young people need to believe in human rights, to act on human rights and develop the resilience and confidence to have agency in this fast-paced world. It explores the idea of knowing myself and moving towards purpose, understanding my relationship to others and moving towards compassion, exploring my view of the world and understanding its complexity and imagining a vision for the future and moving towards hope. Secondly, we have classroom resources. These are creative experiential journeys, taking students from developing their understanding of themselves all the way to developing their agency in this world. Each resource has activities and materials that can be used and taught across different subjects and in different formats, with space for teachers and educationalists to tailor it to their specific context. Our resources root human rights firmly in the lives of students, covering local struggles for human rights, human rights leaders nationally and locally, and how people come together to drive meaningful change. The third part of Speak Truth to Power is teacher training. Our training introduces teachers to human rights. It helps them plan for how to deliver the resources in the classroom. Thirdly, we have teacher training. Our ambition is to build a generation of teachers who are transformational leaders in their classrooms, schools and communities. For our schools, we design and deliver a range of workshops throughout the year. These range from introduction to human rights, uh, resource familiarization, and leadership in teaching, through which we deliver values in action, exploring how we can all learn to live in alignment throughout our lives. We also look at issues, modern day issues, such as breakthrough conversations and power and privilege. And finally, we have human rights inspirations. We connect these local activists to the local schools and have a large and growing network of human rights champions so that we can work to support our schools in bringing human rights champions to speak to children and young people directly. 
The Speak Truth to Power programme is delivered to all our pupils through form time. We teach the vocabulary explicitly so that children can have a dialogue and a safe space in which to discuss the many human rights issues that are part of the programme. It has helped us as an organisation to grow and to be able to tackle some of the difficulties that have been faced by COVID and by issues across the world. We have seen since delivering this programme over a 50% reduction in behavioural incidents and a 50% reduction in violence and fighting. Now, Speak Truth to Power is not the sole reason for that, but it plays a very, very big part. Because once you give children a voice and a dialogue and a way in which to be able to share their experiences, then you can achieve almost anything. And so you can see the impact of human rights education. But we need your help. We're going to take Speak Truth to Power to at least 5,000 students uh, this, this academic year, but we want to build on that and accelerate that. So this Giving Tuesday, please help us reach more students and inspire them to make decisions and take the actions to make human rights a reality in their communities across the country and across the world. Thank you so much for your support.